I'm not surprised that the Mechanists aren't the saints they claim to be. No one in the city is. But at least they've done me the favor of recording the incriminating meeting they had with Sheriff Truart. That recording should let me exert a little pressure on Truart to find out who hired him to kill me. But I'll have to acquire it first. The Mechanists put the recording in a safety deposit box earlier today, but since I have a copy of the key, I should be able to open it. It didn't take much to learn that the Mechanists do all their banking with First City Bank and Trust, one of the wealthiest establishments in town, catering to the financial needs of the city's upper crust. The bank vault is a huge tower, and I'm sure the safety deposit boxes are inside. Once inside the bank, I'll visit the Hall of Records and do a little snooping to find out which box belongs to the Mechanist. Then I'll need to find a way to get inside the vault itself, grab the recording, and get out. No doubt the bank is well protected by Mechanist security machines, in addition to the usual guard contingent. Risky, but you know I've always wanted a good enough excuse to break into First City Bank and Trust. But I always thought I'd be taking the risk just for the money. Hello, welcome back to Thief 2. I'm a puzzled oyster. And here we are, First City Bank and Trust. This one... This is a very impressive level, and it's really cool, but it's also kind of a nightmare. I've been dreading this a little bit. Not much difference in the objectives here. Okay, I got a good amount of flash bombs to start with, so I'm not going to buy all of them. Fire arrows will be very important here. Healing potions are good. To that tip, that is like the most useless tip in the entire game. It All it tells you is um, there's a lot of tile floors in this level, which you can figure out on your own pretty quickly. But anyway, here I am. This is the map. Floor 3, Floor 2, Floor 1. Very detailed. Alright, let's figure out where I am. I'm facing north. So I'm down here somewhere. And it looks like I'm looking at the part on the left there, so I'm right there. Okay, I usually take a specific entrance I've found to work well, but... First, I'm just going to go around here a little bit, the exterior. That's pretty clear, it can be climbed. Okay. So I need to get to the Hall of Records. That's the first thing to place to go once I get inside. And I can actually get to the Hall of Records pretty quickly from the roof. So maybe I'll just go in this way, actually. <laughs> I love those towers. They just, uh, they just there because they look cool. Okay, so it's kind of the northwest side that I'm heading towards. I do like that skyline. I heard, I heard robotic <laughs> footsteps. I think those are coming from inside, though. Yep, there's a door there. I can't open it from out here, though. So I suppose I'll just move on. Three guards down there. Well, I don't need to worry about them. Okay, this will get me close to the Hall of Records. go inside and then the map will show me the room. Meeting hall. 
There we go. So just north. The entrance is on the third floor here. So I just gotta make my way across this area. Okay. I. Oh, there's a little hole in the ceiling up there. I don't want to jump and like hit the slab, the, like, the slope of the ceiling, but it looks like I missed the rope anyway. And a guard heard that too. Okay, looks like I'll have to use my flash bomb right away. He's coming right for me. I know you're around here somewhere. I've gotten better at not blinding myself. Okay, I'm gonna pull kind of a dick move. Leave this guy up here. It was fun to do at the time, but like going back and watching this, I feel really bad about it. Like, <laughs> this is the kind of thing that gives me nightmares the thought of waking up in a rafters with no way down. But now I can get down. Oh, this is why I don't go this way. Okay, let's go to this entrance that I usually use. It seems to work pretty well for my purposes. I'll still be close to the to the Hall of Records. I'll have to do a little bit of exploring beforehand, but that's not bad. These guards I can probably take out without too much risk, but at the same time I feel like it's not a whole lot of risk to just leave them where they are. It's interesting how much taller the purple guy is. <laughs> Alright, I'm in the bank. I'm gonna save. He's right down there. Save, I guess there. <clears throat> now this ramp in front of me is made of metal. Let me just cover it with a moss arrow. There's something else kind of cool about this ramp. I'll show when I go down. I'm just gonna push forward very briefly and let go. Once he gets far enough. Yeah, you, you slide Can't down. We. He's about to ask, "Can't the guy get a nap?" And I answered his question for him. Yeah, okay, so this is where I am. I'm just gonna explore a little bit on my way up to the meeting hall and then the hall of records beyond that. An interesting thing about this level is um, they take the randomization thing again. Like, with the key location in the last one here, some of the camera's locations are random. So there's usually a camera right on the other side of this some bar. Some people in this city are too rich for their own good. Lucky they have me to give them a hand. Up on the ceiling there, now, now there's not one, which is kind of nice. Okay, so that's the lobby right there. You can kind of follow that those cords. That trail of cords, it leads up through here. I don't want to go in the lobby. There's a lot of cameras in there and it's well lit. This place seems kind of a risk to travel through, but I kind of want to anyway. Hello? Hey, stop! And that was kind of... that was a mistake. Okay, you back for it now. You'll be dead soon enough. Guards! Guards! Huh? Wait, that's not what I want to happen. I wanted him to come to me. Now he's gonna go run off and alert someone else? Okay, so what do I do? Do I wait them out? Maybe I should just press on. 
That way I'll be somewhere else when they come here. Oh, this room. I don't like that room. Okay, it seems safe, so keep going. Alright. This will lead me to kind of a useful place. This is behind the lobby. There's a bunch of safes in here. Turning the lights off will help. Alright. Time to open these safes. I hear footsteps. That was a close call. All right, I'll just get back to what I was doing. I guess I don't need to go over there. I hear those footsteps again. I think I want to take this thing out. It'll save me some trouble, probably. I guess this wasn't a good angle to get a shot in. Here I can get him. It's hard to tell if that guy heard anything. Yeah, he was definitely a, on a heightened alert because he heard my footsteps. They, that normally wouldn't happen. If they're alerted, they never really go back to being fully unalerted, even when they got the normal walkie animation. They just, they're still extra sensitive and will catch you a lot more easily than otherwise they would. I hear one of those smaller robots. Okay, we got this room. More coins. So it leads to that little narrow hallway north of here. Alright, let's go check it out. Don't hear anything. Bunch of doors in here in rooms. I guess I'll try and kind of zigzag my way back and forth like this. If I'm able to do that. Well, I guess this doesn't connect. There he is. I 
robot's making a little more complicated. But I got it. Okay. I gotta be careful. It seems like anyone can walk through any of these doors at any moment. But it seems to be safe, except for this one little robot. Okay, I don't think I want to cross there right now. I have to go over a whole bunch of tile. Okay, I think at this point I'm going to start cutting out some of the lock picking. Yeah, I'd have to get by that camera to cross there, and it's not the only way through there. Okay, the doors are closed, at least this one. That, I don't know how to get in there right now. Seems like a useful way to travel, though. Here, a big robot. Okay, I gotta make sure it's safe. This hallway, I'm very exposed. Both the light and the tiles make it dangerous. Okay, well, I've explored those areas I wanted to zigzag through. This would be the Great Hall. Doesn't seem like the kind of place I'd want to go. Seems like there'd be a lot of people in there. Ah, there's a camera that saw me through the bars in that door. To be honest, I don't really need to go in there anyway. So I'll explore a little bit more down here. I hear footsteps. Oh, this room. Okay. Okay, that turret thing, there, up on that wooden walkway, there's a switch that'll trigger it. The noise walking on the tile might also wake it up, I'm not sure. Steps, it's just coming from up there. I don't want them to hear me though. So, this is back where I came in here. Okay, this room's gonna be important later on. So, I'm gonna take out that camera now to save me some headaches later on. Okay, now's my chance. <laughs> I like the way the pieces fall down. Someone heard that. I'll wait and see if he's coming. No one coming from over there. I 
guess I'll just keep going. Okay, this in here is how I'll get to the basement. I'll show you that hatch right there. I need to go to the basement. I can't quite go there now. I mean, I can, but the game hasn't given me the reason to go there yet. So I'm going to hold off on that. Thing is, I don't remember where it, where it is that the game tells you you need to go down there. So I guess I'll be keeping my eyes open for that too. Okay. I know there's two guards around that corner, usually facing the other way. But not this time. Chewing through my flash bombs so quickly. Fight me, you coward. I always like the way he says that. This guy I hope I can beat him without using another flash bomb. If he comes in here, if I hide in the shadows, maybe I can wait for him to turn around or something. Is he going to come in here? Seems like he's not. Okay, let's use a scouting orb, see what's up. Whoops. There. Oh, interesting. I should be able to sneak up on him then. Oh. He was still alerted. Another flash on. I think if I just ran for it, I might have been able to get him. If I'd been really quick. That's something that experience kind of teaches you in this game, I guess. That sometimes you have to be quick to be stealthy. And that's one of the things, like, when I first played this game for quite a while, I thought you had to always move slowly, and I've kind of learned that like things go better when you're quick a lot. Okay, that was me. I'm I'm cutting out parts of like I said. I'm cutting out parts of the lock picking. So both of these are two Devel from Flemian, so we're only getting half of the conversation here. They're scheming to become the master banker. Or at least have one of them become the master banker. Okay, lots of coins in here. I'm gonna need the, the crate to get everything up in that top one. To lean forward to get that far bag or purse I guess a coin purse is what it is I saw that uh, turret thing earlier meeting hall I don't see anything. this is where I came in and fell down
There's someone above me. You know, considering how much trouble that guy's gonna give me, I kinda almost don't regret leaving him up there in the alternate reality. Before I go anywhere, let me check out down here a little more. Okay, well, I could spare one water arrow to take this guy out. Missed. Well, like I said. I only want to spare one, so I'm just going to move on. Okay, anything behind the bar here? It doesn't look like it. I heard that. He's he's sweeping the room now with his eye open. And he must have heard my footsteps when I was walking behind him, and that's why he's running. He might be his his bark right there might be in response to hearing the little robot talking. Okay, I can explore this area. That door on my left. So this is my second kind of time starting this, recording this. I got a I got a little farther than this. It didn't go well. I decided to just scrap everything and start over. But when that door opened, uh, if I make if I make a blooper reel, that's gonna go on there. Yeah, the guy above me heard me. I made too much noise on that tile floor. He might be coming down here to get me. So I'm just gonna head up here. This is where the Hall of Records is. Oh. Gotta watch out for that camera. <gasps> This kind of is an example of something we'll be seeing in the level design from here on out a lot. There's a camera and then right below it there's an an item of value, some loot. Now to find some useful information. Okay, I'm in the Hall of Records now. There's nobody in here, so I'm safe. Nothing in here of use, except for the letter that's on the desk up here. So this will tell me the box number. I'm looking for a mechanist... Nope, that one. Mechanist storage box, number 11. That's the one that I have the key to. So now I gotta get into the vault. I don't know what happened there. It looked like uh, I made a cut, but I really didn't. It might be like I clipped through the door in a certain way. Oops. I'm glad all the alarms in this are very localized. If you didn't hear that camera caught me. It made the turret in there hostile. If anyone heard the alarm, they're suspicious now. Okay. 
Okay, I was down there before. So this is the the walkway um, down below in that room is a turret. I don't know if you saw in the middle of that walkway there's a differently textured square. That's a hidden switch that'll activate the turret. It seems like I can't open that door. That switch do? No, 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 no. Okay. Seems like a lot of scheming among the employees here. Okay, so this is just the Great Hall again. I hear a voice in there. Okay, my name's a problem. So there's two robots in there, kind of stuck in an endless loop of conversation. That's not a bug that was put in intentionally. That's, that's the switch right there. Okay, this is where that archer guy was looking for me. I don't see it though. Oh. That robot saw me. That's the noise it made when it, it makes when it's about to shoot you. I'm in a lot of danger here. Just gonna wait it out. See if I have what I have that can help me out of this situation. I hear footsteps. I'm gonna speed it up now. My right, robot's back there. Footsteps are below me, so he's down there now. Come back out here, you tapper. There's a camera in there. Okay. Might be safe to peek out here again. Your footsteps coming. Oh! I think the safest place to be is back down here. One flash bomb left. Looks like I have no choice but to use it now. He's coming right for me. Maybe the lean forward and blackjack trick will work. Nope. Well, great. I'm out of I'm out of flash bombs now. I've barely started the level. Well, I'm about well, let's see, half an hour in. But there's a lot of ground to cover. So that rope arrow is more useful here than it is over there. Okay, I can Okay, I just need that one to turn around. Okay. 
Good. That's one less threat. I missed some coins on top of a cabinet thing I went past. I think later in the level in the next video I come to it. That sign might be hard to read. It says, Oh clerks, this is not a bakery. We do not give out... I don't remember exactly what, but basically we're auditing everything. South through here. Master Tyler, the guy, Master Banker Tyler, in fact. So out here there's a conversation. I'm going to pump up the volume in post in a moment so we can hear it. Hey, who's there? You oaf. You scared me nearly half to death. Oh, sorry, Mr. Marin. I didn't know you were staying late tonight. Of course I am, you imbecile. How else are the Rothschild papers to be finished? Magic spells? Well, sir, they, they don't tell us the hours of the bankers who pay for the spare offices. Oh, really? That's very fascinating. Please, th tell me more particulars about guard duties. Hmm. Well, do you know about guard changing procedures? Ah, just get out of my office. Okay. Good, he's going that way. Shouldn't be any problem taking him out. That window on the right has a camera. Whoops. And it caught me just as soon as I... As I remembered it. I don't have any flash bombs. Hopefully I can hide here. Oh. That safe I didn't get. Okay, if I lay down a moss arrow, then I can rush him when he turns around. Ugh. Seems like he bugged out on the terrain. Oh no. And it seems that somehow worked. I stunned him from the front, giving me time to go around to the back. I've never done anything like that before. I did not think I was going to survive that. But I did. Okay, through that door is a room I've I've seen th from a different doorway. There's a camera that makes it difficult to get anywhere. And from down there, I've opened that door at the bottom there. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Kind of a big office. But there's absolutely nothing in here. I'm gonna check it even for like a hidden switch. Maybe there was one under the flower pot or something. But nowhere else that I've looked anyway. So I guess it's time to move on. OK, 
Okay, this is the room that Camry's in, and that guy in the conversation, too. taken care of. That camera's out. Okay. Is it clear? It looks like it is. Alright. Let's check out this room. A nice little lounge bar area, I guess. But there's a camera over there. I just gotta wait for my moment. Because I know there's gotta be something under it. So this just connects to the lobby, so I don't need to go there, so I can ignore the rest of this room pretty much. Now this room I've been in before, on the bottom part too I mean, it'd be really nice to get up there, I think I want to go up there. I'll have to figure that out, but I crossed through the bottom of there earlier and made a lot of noise. Those cords are snaking their way up from the lobby to the upper floor through there. <sighs> so right now what I want to do most of all is get upstairs. I want to explore here too. Looks like this room is going to be really hard to traverse. That camera is not something I can really sneak past, it seems like. Oh. Is that you? Okay, calm down. There's nothing there. Alright, I'm glad he didn't see me. This corner here is a good place for it. Let's check out this room. So this document's gonna be a, a fun read. I might leave it up a little longer than normal. So it looks like um, Master Banker Tyler's un uh, nephew, I forget his name, that they're saying is an idiot. Sounds like they weren't entirely wrong about that. At least as far as you can judge someone's intelligence by their writing. I like all those little windows up there. This whole place, the architecture, is really great. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anyone around. I don't think I can get through this with the keys I have, but I'll try. There's no one around, so I'm going to take a chance to come in here. And it's worth doing. Some broadhead arrows, some mines. Those will be really interesting, or I should say really useful against the robots. Some explosive crates. OK. 
Alright, alright. I know that's the lobby there. There might be a camera, so I don't want to stick my head too far out. I'm glad there was a healing potion there. I needed another one. Yeah, so let's, um... Let check that. Let's blow these up and see what happens. I'm gonna save first. I actually thought that would be big enough to kill me. So I'm just gonna load. I don't want to waste my fire arrow. Um, there's a part at the near the end of this mission that's really difficult. I've always had to save scum my way through. Fire arrows will make it easier though. If I actually manage to save some, then I won't have to save scum my way through. I forget for a minute what's through there, so I'm just cutting out me opening that again. It would be nice to get through there, because cause that walkway on the other side, it seems like that's the best way to get there. Okay, I'm going to go west. And by west, I mean east is where I want to go. Uh, now I set off the alarm there. Okay, I need to just get my head together a little bit, take a deep breath. I think uh, this is the way I want to go. I don't want anything to do with that right now. That leads to that lobby. I need to get upstairs. Um, I've been kind of failing to do that so far. But I, I need to make that happen. Okay, I think it might actually be worth using a moss air to safely make two steps through this room. Okay, this is the room I don't like. Looks like I have no choice but to to find a way up those stairs with no flash bombs that guard up there he's gonna be the problem because he's right in front of the door but this is a big room noise will travel through so I have an idea maybe I can actually figure this out finally find some measure of success here. And now I have another idea too. Wow, that doesn't sound good. Neither does that. I feel like I just came out of the frying pan and into the fire. Okay, this is getting too intense for me. 
I'm checking my clock now. It's been long enough. I think it's time uh, to split this into two sessions. So thank you uh, for watching and come back for part two.